we talked about with our showrunner, Peter, about there were t- a lot of times like he went up against Disney and stuff and fought for things that he really thought were, was funny. Right. Crazy. And so, and, and ultimately Disney was like, we want somebody who just says yes. Mm-hmm. But like, but do. I think a lot of times it made the show better because oh, it made the show yeah. funnier, edgier. Yeah. Like that one episode we have with Tears of Blood where they're like throwing meat at the concert. I know that's like further down the no, line. I kind of remember that one. It's okay. Yeah. But like, but they didn't want us throwing meat. Like they'd get weirded out about the strangest stuff. Huh. Like they were okay with the band named Tears of Blood, which we were surprised by. Right. Yeah. But throwing meat was not okay with them for so there was, so there was they got nitpicky about weird stuff. Yeah. So why the plastic surgery thing they were fine with? You, who knows? It's here. No, it, who knows what they're going to? It was very to, random. You know, mm-hmm. Max says to Justin. You, know, you have that book of the weather woman, the the weather lady, and he said her name very specific. I wrote it down. What uh, uh, the weather woman? This Wendy, Wendy Lead. Yeah, I was like, that's so funny to me. Yeah. So who in the writers' room knew Wendy Lead? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you know, you're gonna put that in there. I just love that it was so specific. Uh, yeah. And also very Justin that he loves, loves this the weather, weather woman. woman. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was like it's always like whenever they're so specific with things like that always gets me. Yeah. yeah. That's the stuff you remember. You're right. just like. Like, why yeah. did they, like, name drop this weather woman? Yeah, well, and it's also, too, like, our writers were synonymous for, like, combining their own names into, like, spells oh, or, like, cool. trying to find, like... Gigi. We yeah. had a writer, Gigi, oh. and then they named this character yeah. Gigi. And Dean um, Moriarty was from um, On the Road with Jack Kerouac. So they always oh, okay. were putting in kind of, like, little Easter eggs like that oh, in there. Cute. Just to keep themselves entertained. And then, of course... Yeah. Edge Bono Utusis was a spell, which I didn't realize was Edge Bono U2. You know what I mean? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't uh, get that. Dude, Thank you. you. Got it now. Well, I know it now. You got yeah, it now. but I was like, oh. I never. That's actually so cute. I so yeah, that. when you go, it's it's interesting for us to rewatch because there's sure. little like Easter eggs like that. Even at the time, we didn't pick up on. Yeah. Right. So I'm sure okay. it was something like that. So, like it was. Very wizards that they weren't riding horses, but they were riding two motorcycles. motorcycles. I loved, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I loved that. I love that too. I was I, really yeah. excited about I that. I do like how it was. It's funny because they're like, uh, I didn't know Alex was so girly. She acts so tough. But like, I thought it was cute because it's like she is super girly, but yeah. like, like the motorcycle and her illustrating everything yeah. is still so Alex coded. Well, it's like the Quinceanera episode where she's like, I've got to yes. wear my Converse. Oh my <laughs> God. I thought that was so cool. It reminded cool. me of the, the uh, I think it's like Demi's song about like coming Who's back to, yeah, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. know if I can sing. If no, 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 you're okay. good, you're good, you're good. You, you're, you can sing that much probably. <laughs> yeah. um, but just like, wear my Converse. Literally. And it reminded me of that. I was just like, oh, but that was, that was the look back then. Yeah, it was. When I remember, like, Demi and Selena. I mean, me too. Mm-hmm. Like, we all had our Converse. Mm-hmm. That I like, have mm-hmm. my Converse. Is yeah. it over? No, with your dress? I, no, 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 okay. no. But if I just like the high top No, yeah. It's, a, it's the duo. It's the duo yeah. of, like, a Converse with a dress. Like, yes. yeah. you're a girl, but you're so edgy. That was very early, like, 2008, 2007. My, my brother Peter, his first marriage, he wore a Converse in a tuxedo. Converse will never go out of style. They're like yeah. Doc Martens. They'll never yeah. go out of style. Never. Yeah. Timeless. They're timeless. great. Yeah. I still have ones that, like, Selena wrote, like, notes on. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it's cute. really that's so cute. cute. Yeah. By the way, I love your out al- your outfit. You said it was your Alex inspired. You have to stand up. Stand up. Look and at I that. Give us a little spin. It's so. It's good. a little wait, crop wait, wait, top wait. with a yellow. Th- yes! Oh my God! You have your one. That's amazing. I have my one. I love it. That's so cool. Can I see that? That's very. Oh my God, this is oh very. My God. Did you get this at Universal? It's, it's very like, Harry Potter esque. It's, it's, yeah? um, I got it from Amazon, and it's like there are these lights that you stick up, yeah. and oh you like um, you. It's, it's like it a, says it's on like those Harry Potter lights. Yeah, yeah. Hour and off. Yeah, it's and then you like flash it, and then it turns the lights on and turns the lights uh, off. Can I just floating. say it gave me such like nostalgia seeing you pull it out of your boot like that? Yeah, because that was because that was something <laughs> Selena came up with was really? to pull it out of her boot. Oh yeah, yeah. She's like, where am I going to put it? During uh, rehearsal, she would always put it in her boot, and they finally just like wrote it into the oh show. Oh my god! Yeah, so that just like literally You're gave wrong. me all the feels. <laughs> very well done. Thank you. Very detail oriented. Oh, I love you. that. That's very like, cool. Okay, so with your wand, yes. Do you want to do you want to come up with a spell? Ooh, what should the spell be? Um, okay, okay, so. Uh, I'm thinking of all the spells from now. I know. Right now. I know. Well, what's something that you're like? Oh, I could really use that. Ooh. Like something like if I could have one spell to do anything. Honestly, like something that could just like fix my hair. 
Ah, that's like, yeah. Okay, so what would that be called? The amount of time I've spent in my life oh, on know. hair. Oh my god! Like, um, Crimpus Apiris. Ooh, <laughs> um, it could be like, uh, like, um, um. It's tricky, right? It's hard. Ah, I know. So I'm yeah. sorry to put you I was trying spot. to be like cute about it. Like, um, hair. Um, it could be like frizziness. Um, frizziness is here today. Make this frizzy go away. Is wait a like, minute. Yeah. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I, I think this wait, spell backfired. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, I know how to like, for the wizard style, it makes your hair super smooth, but the person yeah, next yeah. to you is super frizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that that's a good one. Like, I'm still working on it. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, it's hard to be on the spot. There's been a couple times where like we've asked each other questions and yeah. it's like, what spell would you do? And you always like your brain immediately blanks oh out. Oh my god. You're like, I what know. am I talking about? And I'm like, huh, yeah. But no, that was good on the Thank spot. Because it's hard to come up with spells on the spot. It really yeah. is. No, that was very good. Thanks. All right, so what and the spell for this episode is literary terrarium. I love that. Right? So yeah, if you could and I'm works. a big like bibliophile. I love like reading and books. Mm -hmm. So if you could go into any book with that spell, oh. which I think I know your answer. Oh, I don't know my answer. Oh, really? Okay. okay. But I want to know but that. I'm totally, I'm totally you, full of it then. Wait, what? Uh, think about it. Okay. Yeah. What What? Do, what book do you think yeah. I'm going to go to? I, oh. I need to read more. So. I love, I love, I mean, I'm a big Stephen King fan, but I don't want to go on those books. No, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, no, those are just for <laughs> entertainment. Um, I, I kind wait, of want to go. This is what you're guessing that I would have no, said. No, no, no. I thought you were going to say Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Because you love that world. I, I would. Mean, yeah. Jen knows Come me better than that. No I, know. So I, I was even going to guess Harry Potter. I was like, I feel like Harry Are Potter. Are you a big Harry Potter fan? Yeah. Yes, but like I'm uh, so sure. Question. I don't know. No, no. But like, okay, because I'm I'm being honest. Like, yeah. I am a big fan. But I'm a fan of the movies. I've never read the books. Uh, okay. The books are a little darker, I feel like. Yes. And yeah. I was like, I think I had like a lower reading level at that time. And so I remember I would check one out and they were like, this one's kind of hard for you. And I'm Dude, like, I, they're thick. They're, I stopped Chuggers. after three because I was like, this is too many pages yeah. about this boy with the glasses. Like, I was like, it's too long. I would, I would just be reading it and I was like, damn, we're still in the dining hall? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Um, but, but, but Jen is right. I would go into Harry but Potter. That, no, that's a really good yeah. world. That's, that's good. Yeah. Okay, so you were talking about Stephen King. Mm -hmm. No, I'd probably do, I'd probably do, I mean, I'm a basic bitch. Great Gatsby is one of my favorite books. Uh, okay. And I would love to be in like the 1920s at those parties that uh, Gatsby has before everything mm -hmm. goes to shit. Mm -hmm. Like I'd love to experience Yeah. That. Granted, I mean, there were other like socio-political problems back yeah. then, but just the parties <laughs> and the glamor and all that kind of okay. stuff. I yeah. think that'd be really fun to go back to. What book would Ooh. you go into? Okay, I have, I mean, my resolution is to read more, so this is gonna yeah. be a little. I'm right there with you. Yeah, this is this reference is very dated, um, but if you know, you know. There was a book that came out in like grade school, and it was it's like about a teenage vampire. Okay. Do you remember Twilight? what it was called? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, okay, maybe I'll just go. No, what I survive in Forks. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so do you remember the name of the teenage vampire? It was vampire? basically, but it was off the heels of the Twilight era. Yeah, it was that whole, like, 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 YA era. No, actually, yeah, basically, yeah. it was, like, I think it was, like, my life. It was, like, teenage vampire, like, my life as a teenage vampire. Oh, yeah. Or, no, like, it, like, it, like, Something it like sucks. That. It, like, being a teenage vampire sucks. Like, it played <laughs> on that. Yeah. Yeah. And it was about a teenage vampire who, like, falls in love with this girl and he like has to like control his hunger and I thought it was like it was totally YA yeah, yeah, yeah. like I was just like oh my god this is so cute and I wanted to be the girl he was like of going course. after her because it was so romantic of course yeah so that's like I mean I wouldn't say that now as an adult but sure <laughs> but at the time at the time at that's the time. like the world I would choose yeah. as an adult maybe uh, I don't know yeah. Well, TV, you TV, answer, TV, you TV. answered. Okay, okay. TBD. Yeah, yeah. I'll get back yeah, to you. Yeah, we'll read more this year and we'll find out which which one it is. For sure, for sure. But as far as like the vampires, your Jasper is pretty good. So <laughs> you. your your Jasper face is solid. I she does the, a great uh, Jasper impression <laughs> because literally the whole movie, the guy is just like. <laughs> yeah. in the bag. Hers is much better than mine. From, t from Twilight. Yeah. From Twilight. And he's yeah. the blonde one. Right? He's, yeah. the bl he's the painfully blonde you one. You know, I was in the, the spoof of that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, oh my I God. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Scully or whatever. What, what was your oh gag God. in that movie? I say to them, You look like the black eyed peas. Or whatever. And I, I take off my shirt 
and I and I beat them up. That particular movie, oh I didn't look like the dad. Dietrich Bader, who did the part, looked like the dad. Uh -huh. But the audition that mm -hmm. I did for that movie, one of my friends was the, was the producer, and he wasn't supposed to do this, but he sent me my audition tape. It was one of the funniest auditions I've ever had in my life. Oh my they God. were like, you know, if you had looked more like, like the, the guy. Yeah, so that's why I, they gave me, they, they gave me Because I remember that. you're you're like. Vampires suck. Yeah. Because yeah. yes. my, my friend did the Hunger Games one that was like right after that. For that and it was like the same grouping oh, of people the, the, that did the guy yeah. or suck one but yeah i remember your it was fun. vignette and that was so yeah. funny and i was in the trailer yes so yeah so the people who didn't see the movie thought i was in the movie more i'm sure i know. only I did a day like, on oh, it you know yeah yeah 